In this clean room at Firefly Aerospace, the assembly of the Blue Ghost Lunar Lander is coming to an end. It's a super exciting time here in Cedar Park right now. Ray Allensworth, spacecraft Almost program director at Firefly, gave me an up-close look at the Lunar Lander. The assembly team has been busy. All that's left to do, bolt on the landing legs, install solar panels, and wrap it with a thermal blanket. You can kind of feel the excitement creep up day by day at this point with doing all the testing and seeing it really come together in its final stages. Blue Ghost was built as part of NASA's plan to send humans back to the moon. The job for Firefly is to collect new information from the lunar surface. A payload of 10 specialized instruments was loaded on board just a few days ago. I'd say the, the payloads was the, a huge moment of excitement. Getting all the payloads integrated was not just huge for us, but huge for our NASA customers. Before blasting off to the moon, the lunar lander will be trucked to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. It will go through a round of pre-flight tests next month. The launch window opens between November and December. Sending Blue Ghost to the moon is just the beginning. The assembly and production team here in Cedar Park already working on the next mission to the moon in 2025. And then, just a few weeks ago, NASA called asking Firefly to go to Mars. Firefly is being asked to modify its Electra spacecraft, which is set to go into Earth orbit for the first time this fall for the NRO. It will also be attached to the second Blue Ghost. Going to Mars is kind of everyone's next goal. So getting that call that we're, we're part of the Mars study is huge. Circular like a tube, Electra's name comes from the tough cover of a Firefly's wings. The version for NASA will be larger than this one that's being built at the Cedar Park facility. The first step is really about discovery and relearning, or in some cases learning how to go to Mars, how to deploy payloads, how to orbit Mars. Um, it's kind of a first step to ultimately being able to land or get return, like samples back from Mars uh, to Earth. So it's kind of a first step in several steps. Footprints of out-of-this-world exploration that lead back to Cedar Park.